So, hi, oh, here comes the cameraman. Uh, we are busy frantically trying to get everything ready. Um, this is not the cameraman who's supposed to be with me, but thank you, Dangerous Dave, for stepping in. Yes, My name is Brent Yeo Smith, and we are live in the studio. So, we get to look up over the Maasai Mara. I've got all sorts of gadgets and toys and stuff to play with. Um, and uh, unfortunately, my big map, that's, or James's big map that goes on here, we can't use today. The table has been freshly oiled. So a lovely smell, uh, nice linseed oil on the table to make it, keep it going. You can see the startings of the shelves have been done, and that's why this fan is here to blow the, the dust of, of the, the woodwork away. But uh, we, this is basically our control room where we look out over the morrow, we can see what the other presenters are doing, and we've got other big maps here that we can figure out where everyone is, where the different animals are from. Hi, Tiggs. Tiggs would like to know, what, when is the best time to visit the Mara? Now, that is a very interesting question. Uh, I'd say all year round. Now, of course, most people come to the Mara to see the crossings. The crossings are currently happening in this area where we are here. Uh, below Lookout Hill, there's, um, that's Fig Tree Crossing. Then there's Lookout 1, 2, 3, and I've forgotten the name of that one over here. But there we go. Those are, those are the crossings that are currently happening at the moment. And uh, that's what a lot of the people come to see, is the crossing and the great migration of 1.56 million wildebeest, 200,000 Tommies, 200,000 Zebra, and a few lost in it. Okay, now, I'd say... I quite like the Mara all year round because the game viewing is absolutely fantastic. And anywhere throughout these areas, it doesn't matter the time of the year, you have resident topi, zebra, uh, Thompson's gazelle, Grant's gazelle. And the really cool thing as well is that the lions, leopards, cheetahs and hyenas never leave. Because if they had to move from the Maasai Mara and follow the migration, into the Serengeti, they would obviously meet other lions, leopards, hyenas, and cheetahs. And that would cause them to run into a bit of a brick wall. So the lions and stuff do never, never leave. Now, Jack's mom would like to know, was, has the drought really affected the migration? Well, we're very lucky in the Mara that it, of, out of all the places in Kenya, we've had late rain. So it's been quite lucky. We haven't experienced the same amount of the drought that the rest of East Africa is having. So there we go, you can see it's still quite green and the grass is very long. Now, how this has affected the migration that has caused it. So well, speaking of rain, there's a great big thunderstorm blaring down on the opposite side of the Mara River. And we are very late for there to be big thunderstorms, so uh, fortunately for us, we are still getting quite a bit of rain. And that is gonna keep the wildebeest here longer and that's how it affects uh, the migration. So, in, so it affects the migration that they have arrive much earlier than they would normally. So they would normally be arriving, maybe just arriving across the Sand River now. They're not normally crossings at this time of year. They're not normally in the triangle. There's also, strain, wait, let me get back to my lap. As we've seen, um, there are Vuldavis streaming in from the Lamai Wedge. Now that is this little wedge over here. That is the Lamai Wedge. And it is the Tanzanian side of the Mara River. Now, the wildebeest have already started coming in to here from the Lamai Wedge, which is very unusual for this time of the year. And uh, normally they're the last of the wildebeest to arrive, so they'd be arriving at the end of next month. So, very, very exciting for us. The fact that there is so much, there has been a lot more rain, not normal rain, because you can see the river is quite low, but the rain for the river starts up there! There! In, in the Ma Highlands. So the Ma Highlands hasn't had as much river, a river rain as the Mara. So it means they're early and they're going to stay longer. Okay, well, we're going to keep playing with James's toys in the studio while we do that. Let's go back to Scotty, who's driving straight towards that wondrous, glorious, life giving rain. 